Oh, it's going on, everybody. This is Patrick Mitten Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Um, so this is going to be a tech type video, gear video. Um, went to one of our local, um, what I would call second, not secondhand store. It's really a, um, a bargain store where overstock merchandise goes to, I guess you could say, die. Now, I have bought some pretty neat things from there over the years. Um, they've changed names, changed things off and on right now. It's called Bargain Hunt. You may have them in your area. I don't know. But we were checking out, and I saw this hanging up by the register, and I was like, hold up. So I grabbed this thing. It says compared to $24. So I basically got it for half off, but uh, it was one of these Bear Grylls Gerber knives. Now I'm gonna bring it over here to the uh, workbench here in just a second to show it to you. And I kind of laugh a little bit about it because, well, we'll get more into it when I get you over here. All right, guys, so let's get into this real quick. This is the Bear Grylls Gerber Survival. It's the Survival AO is the particular name of this particular blade. Of course, it's made by Gerber. It's assisted opening 2.0. Must be better than the 1.0. Um, you do get a little survival booklet in case you want to take a look at it, which it has some helpful stuff for people that's, you know, never been in that situation. This little booklet, you know, kind of unfolds you have fire starting techniques and all that good stuff in it. Uh, how to signal, yeah, I like this, how to signal a plane with your knife. Of course, if it's got black coating on it, I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll see. Um, but building shelters, starting fires with a bow drill. Um, let's see what's on the inside here. Using your watch as a compass, which the really good one it's upside down <laughs> uh sending snares yeah it means you can't run to kroger real quick and get your meat and stuff uh different uh knots you know figure eight bow tie clove hitch uh anyway so there's all that <clears throat> if you're not familiar with bear grills you don't know who he is um anyway Go look up his history. I was kind of shocked. I mean, I, I, I've known, you know, I've watched his survival shows before and, you know, pretty, pretty good, you know, for TV. Um, but what, what, what the guy's been through, you know, you would think when he puts his name on something, you'd be pretty decent. Pretty good, actually. I mean, dude jumped off an airplane. The parachute didn't work. And he broke his back. Ow. Um, but anyway, all that aside, if I was putting my name on something, I'd want it to be a little bit above the normal thing. But I think his thing was I wanted every person's finance, you know, financially to be able to buy this. And I get it. I get that. Um, so basically this blade would have cost 24 bucks compared to, you know, new, um, I got it for 12, so I got it for half, half off. Um, I don't even know what kind of steel it is. I think I even tried to look on Gerber's website or somewhere else, and it really did not tell what kind of steel it is. But I can tell you by picking up the blade, um, by the way, you only have one way to have a belt clip if you're not good with that. This, this was definitely not for you. There's several things on this blade that it makes it a good second backup knife, maybe, or th maybe third backup knife. <clears throat> but and I maybe sound like I'm bashing it, but anyway, um, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. The, the handle to me feels real chintzy, real cheap. It's got a little bit of rubber right here. This is mainly ABS feel. Uh, does have a metal pocket clip. Now, 
the one thing that I will tell you I struggle with is the locking system on this thing. It's got a little crossbar right there that locks back and forth. You'll see that, right? Okay. So this, I think, should be unlocked. Nope. It's locked. Okay. So push it in. That should unlock it. There we go. Now, good flipping open. I, I give it to them. That is a good flip open. It is assisted. I'm, you know, good. Um, now you'll notice too, to close it, you push that little button right here, push it down. And like I said, you push that bar across and it's locked so it doesn't come springing open in your pocket. That would, that would be a bad time, wouldn't it, for a knife to spring open in your pocket. I'm sure somebody's done that before. If you have, comment down below how it felt. Um, God, that, <laughs> I just thought about that. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, um, now the other thing I do not like about this knife um, is the serrations here. I'm not a big serrated knife fan. Uh, it does have plain edge there. Um, now serrated is good for cutting rope. Um, I'll give it that. I got, got some twine right here. We'll see how well it saws through that. This is just bank line. If you don't know what bank line is, well, it's bank line. That cut through it pretty good. I mean, I was having a tug on it, but it cut through it pretty good. Let's see if we can, how it cuts through the blade itself. Should be able to that snap to it pretty good, so no no complaints there. Um, but anyway, I'm not gonna go any further with this thing. I'm not gonna you know <laughs> beat up on it anymore. But it, it, if it if it was the only knife you had, then so be it. You know, so be it. It it gets you through the day. You could open boxes with it. Um, you definitely wouldn't lose it in a dark warehouse because it's bright orange. Um, so I, I don't, I mean, that's my only complaints is the feel of it. Um, not a big fan of the serrated edges and the locking system's kind of wonky, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Well, that time I did, that's the other thing is remember which way to push it to lock it. So, okay, now it's unlocked. But my question would be putting this in the pocket how hard, oh, not hard at all to unlock it. So it could come springing open in your pocket if you're not careful. If you're wearing those tight jeans, um, you could possibly push the lock right off. And I just did. I pushed that lock right off. So there you go. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I, I'm not going to bash on it any more than that, but... 12 bucks, you know, it is what it is, okay? It's not a $100 knife. It's not a, it's really and truly to me, the $24 it probably was there in the beginning, or I'm sure it's probably, you know, a lot more at Bass Pro or somewhere like that. So, anyways, guys, there you go. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, my, my uh, opinion of this thing is my opinion of this thing um personally i mean if you needed a good backup it'd be a good backup that's about it i wouldn't stake my life on it and stuff and i don't know it is what it is so anyways guys i appreciate you watching make sure you check out all the links down below share like and subscribe be prepared see you on the next one